here today, I got the chance to speak with two festival officials from the past, Jennifer Brooker and Sherry Seavers. We discussed several topics, including the opening ceremonies, which are tonight. Tonight, which should be good weather either yes, way. Yes, hopefully. And we also talked about the entertainment lineup and what it means for them to be part of this festival for so long. Here's part of that interview. So my first question for you is that you both were uh, past directors, but you're working in different capacities this year, but that means you've been with the Cerna Festival for multiple years in a row. So what does it mean for you to be a part of this 47th year? We'll start with you. I've been on the committee for approximately 34 years, and it just means a lot. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing for our community and to keep our riverboat heritage alive you know, what, for what the area is known for. And I'm, I'm just very happy to be on the committee. Um, I have only been part of the committee for the last eight years, um, I'm, but I am originally from the area and moved back. Um, to me, this is, just like Sherry said, this is a sense of community. It is uh, a great team of folks coming together to put this festival together and um, just just share our uh, community with the travel folks that travel in from out of town and everybody that's local. And so you're going to talk a little bit about opening ceremonies. So what can we expect from this year's opening ceremonies? Um, we always have um, a, uh, a, a gentleman come over with a helicopter with uh, the American flag uh, that's kind of dropping below it. Um, they do a flyover with that. Um, so we, that's when we do the national anthem. It's always a very moving part of the opening ceremonies. Um, and then it's just really just a way to kick the entire weekend off, welcoming the uh, folks that are here for uh, the weekend and just kind of, you you know, giving everybody a flavor of what's going to be happening. Um, it's exciting. We recognize some of our top corporate sponsors during the ceremony and some of our local government entities who really work closely with us in the community to help us do all of what we do. And I know we're also going to be talking a little bit about our entertainment lineup for this year. So could you explain a little bit about what's in store entertainment wise? Well, we're really excited tonight. We have um, THW, the, the Hillbilly Way, from out of the, the uh, Pittsburgh area. And then uh, Tina, Tur Tina Turner tribute is really exciting for this evening. Um, I don't know if you've seen our, her pictures. Uh, she looks just like Tina Turner. So we're looking forward to a really great show. Tomorrow is Highway 96. And then Sunday, uh, we will cap off with a Bon Jovi tribute. And we have um, our area is also blessed with a multitude of local talent. So we will have a multitude of local talent as well. And for both of you guys, my last question is, what does it mean for you to see the support not only from our community, but from all over, because we're getting guests from all over, all walks of life, from every corner of the country, to see the amount of boats that showed up as early as they showed up. What does it mean for you to see that kind of support for the 47th year? It, it's really exciting. I think we had 28 boats this year. Um, it's it, and the captains love to come to Marietta. And, you know, the festival was originated uh, initially to um, promote tourism to the area, and and I think that we've achieved that. And we hope that people come to the Sturmwell Festival and and love our our area and love downtown Marietta and come back throughout the year. And what about for you? Absolutely, I agree with Sherry. Um, we've been down here all week since uh, since the tail end of Labor Day weekend. Um, every evening doing works. You know, some folks are down here all day. These boats have been coming in the levee was full by I don't I, I want to say Tuesday or Wednesday it was unbelievable when I was down here helping with some of uh, you know some of the setup and I I truly feel like when you're talking to people who come in they just they stop you people from Louisville Kentucky stopped me last night in the middle of setting the vendor concessions up they absolutely fell into this and just love it they come every year and I think it's just amazing what this small of an area uh, the impact we can have on folks and the, the just travel and tourism for the state of Ohio. So it's been really, really amazing. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. Well, that was a great interview right it there, was. Alexa. And I know we still got a lot more coming up. Yes. Yes. So we, we've had a bunch of interviews yeah. all day so far. We do have one more left with a person known as Marietta Greta. <laughs> She's going to be talking about different things that are happening in the past, the current, the future. So make sure to stay tuned for that.